Well, thanks a lot, uh, Wesley So and Bentala Hare Krishna, to join us after your uh, tie-break match uh, today, with uh, Wesley So emerging as a winner. Uh, I guess the first game was uh, decisive, more or less, and, and very complicated, very critical. Can you tell us a little bit about this game? Uh, well, actually, uh, I should have taken bishop takes d5, and uh, I don't know why I took knight d5 and I missed uh, queen e4. Uh, but then I I think white should be better somehow, I mean, but okay, it's rapid, so it's not possible to calculate everything. Um, somehow, uh, I think I got some chances, but uh, rook g3 was uh, maybe too hasty. Uh, maybe I should take rook e2 and, uh, you know, defend with uh, three pieces versus queen. Um, Maybe it's still a win, maybe not, I, I don't know, but uh, um, yeah, it's rapid game, so I mean, I, I mean, because white is not risking anything, so I thought maybe I'll have some checks, so that's why I took rook g3, but uh, objectively I should take rook e2 and uh, queen a2 or queen c3, something like that. Uh, Pentala, excuse me, Wesley. Another question for Pentala because there was a strange moment in that game when you played knight f6 back, king, giving up the knight, and after Wesley so took it, you thought for like five minutes. So what was there something you missed or? Uh, no, actually I was uh, considering whether to go rook d6, queen b7, bishop b6, or to start with bishop b6. Uh, I was just thinking if which move order is better, um, but actually. I should have played just bishop d5, uh, knight f5, and uh, bishop c6, knight e7, rook e7. Uh, white is a pawn up, but uh, it's not lost yet. Okay, it's uh, white. White is objectively better, but uh, in this case, at least I have some uh, uh, activity. I saw that, but then uh, I don't know. Somehow I was, <laughs> uh, I played uh, rook d6, bishop uh, c8, as in the game. Um, I, I saw the sequence else in the game, but uh, I didn't see anything better. Well, and after that, it seems you, you had a big advantage, but things became very, very uh, unclear, or maybe yeah. they were unclear. I don't know. What can you well, say? It's never, like it's never clear with my king, un king unsafe, mm -hmm. and often in the classical games we also have similar material, and the queen was very strong in that case. Yeah, I think you played correctly. Okay, ninety five was a mistake. Bishop d5 would be equal. But 95 after that, uh, things were very forcing. I think Harry played uh, some of the best moves. Because if rook d6, queen b7, bishop b6, I think it's worse because I have d4. And I should be a pawn up in in any case. Uh, yeah, and I, I don't know if black made a mistake somewhere after the peace sacrifice. I thought bishop c8, queen a8. Yeah, I thought bishop h3 and queen e8, knight e8, g h3, or something like that. Or que bishop h3 after queen a8, bishop h3, queen e8, queen e8, g h. And my king is a bit vulnerable. But mm, I have three pieces. Yeah, in the game, I lost the a2 pawn, after which it's like super difficult to win because my king is very vulnerable. But I, for sure, I found this h4 g3 idea because I think if I allow him to push h4, then my king has no hiding spot, so that was critical. In the second game, things were more more quiet, which uh, which were uh, actu which was actually good news for for you as black. Yeah, because I didn't expect him to play the same line queen c2. Oh, okay, I thought b6 means it's quite a dubious line maybe. But uh, I, I look at it a little bit in Croatia, and I thought, why not give it a go? Probably black's worth somewhere. But uh, uh, the way Harry played, I think Tomaszewski played it with white. So I, I look at it a little bit. And yeah, I think Rook up C8, Rook C7 is very accurate. And after the knights were traded, it's just very difficult for white to create anything at all. In any case, you two delivered a very entertaining match throughout these few days. And thank you very much. Thank you.